Like FKP, VRS works like this. You have a central processing center somewhere, and the data from those reference stations streams in real time to it, and it calculates this, this uh, virtual location for you, or this value of corrections out here. Um, then people wanted to come up with an idea of uh, sending all the data to you and having you process it on the rover. But before, before I get to that, I want to make a point here that the type of correction that comes up from any one of these methods can be sent to you in a regular standard format that will work for this guy, and it'll work for, for this guy, uh, this type, doesn't matter. RTCM 2, 2.1, 2.3, 3.0, uh, CMR, CMR Plus, which... It, uh, you know, started out as uh, coming from a vendor, but now it's a public domain RTCM committee approved. So uh, the, the notion that these networks are, are doing proprietary stuff, unless somebody tries real hard, they're not. That type of correction is the same thing you could have got in all the different flavors from the uh, uh, RTK with a basin rover. So the other idea of doing the client-side processing is you've, you've still got a central processing center with the data going to it, or, and this is a lot harder to do, you've got data coming from all the stations directly to you. It, quite a bit harder to do, but it can be done. So let's just say the central processing center is not, not doing the whole, whole banana for you. It's not server-side processing. What you've got is... Let me find something. A little more horsepower on your on your rover, and it's taking the data from these stations and processing it. Well, uh, I left out the whole notion of communications here. That's a lot of throughput to get all the data from all those stations. So what happens is one of them gets designated as a master station, and it sends all its data to you, and the others send just a uh, offset to you. So you get a master and these offsets of, of the different data coming from them. And you process it on board. That's cool. That can be done in broadcast only. But most RTNs in the world are dealing with uh, bi-directional communications anyhow for lots of reasons. Uh, if it's anything commercial, there's authentication involved. There's all kinds of variations that can be done with radio and sending the data to you and you have an, uh, a decoder on the end because it's an encoded signal. So many variations, but the general idea is this is client-side processing. Now, that's cool. You can do uh, broadcast only, but actually any of the other styles you can do broadcast only. Now this virtual one here, here let's put a different brand of rover out here. You can do that too. You could do broadcast only. One way to call it is like zone corrections. Let's say we've got a group of ten, you know, six stations here, and that's a zone. And I predefine a point in the middle of it, back in the the uh, you know non-physical reference station or VRS software, and it just keeps building the correction based on that location. That could be passed out over a radio. There's a lot of folks that are doing like uh, construction job sites that do it that way. They go ahead and they just set up a job shack out there or something on the job site and they they patch into the internet because most job shacks have got some kind of internet, DSL or something like that. Or some of them are using a satellite dish. Uh, latencies are getting better. And they can put any number of rovers out there because the... Um, at the job shack, the internet is going to the uh, RTN, and they're giving a coordinate for the job shack or the center of the project, and it's giving them a VRS correction for that location, and they can run any number of rovers off it because they're patching it over to a base radio. There's so many variables involved here. There's a few, there's a few others. The idea of reverse RTK. And uh, there's, there's a couple of uh, outfits that do this. The reverse RTK is uh, server-side processing. You've got a rover that's uh, just receiving its raw observations, and it's sending it to the central processing center, and it is 
running the RTK engine on board. Now I do this on my own network for some um, structural integrity monitoring. I got really dumb sensors sitting out on some structures. They just send their raw observations. I've got the RTK engine at the central processing center and it not only can do it you know for uh, one station but it can cycle through and do a bunch of them or a bunch at once on server side. So there are more out there more ways of approaching this but to uh, to sum it up real quick we got your single base there and your rover and you can't get too far from it. Then you got your flat plane corrections which can be a bi-directional or broadcast only. You've got your virtual station orbit yourself around it or you've got your client side processing what they call master and auxiliary. It goes under a bunch of different names uh, Mac, Max, 3Net, uh, uh, a couple more that I can't remember right now. So uh, hope, you've, hope you've enjoyed that. Oh, uh, Hope that was uh, helpful to you and uh, I'm signing off for RTN uh, 101 again. Where the heck is that button? Okay.